I just made 1.2. Now here's 1.8. You know, this method is cracked. Yes, you have to take the time away from grinding. But sometimes you need a break from grinding. So that puts us at what? 6 billion silver right there? <laughs> oh my. Are you interested in making billions of silver? Without grinding? Then I've got the perfect video for you. The life skill like a boss. Today we're going to be discussing 2024's top life skills. The most silver per hour that you can make life skilling is going to surprise you. Alright, so the main things you're going to need for life skilling is going to be your Manos clothes here. You got Craftsman's clothes, Gatherer's clothes, Fisher's clothes, Alchemist's clothes, Cook's clothes, and then there's Hunter's clothes too. But I haven't dove into hunting that far yet. I do want to do it, but I'm just stuck with these life skills that I'm doing right now because I'm making so much silver. Then the second thing you're going to want to worry about is your artifact. You want to set up artifacts for each different type of life skill. So I've got my gathering, cooking, training, farming, alchemy, processing, and fishing. Then you also want to have a crystal setup for life skills. Me, I run a weight setup, so I want maximum weight i have 180 lt now i'm sure there's a better more optimal setup but this is just an example of what i'm running that's simple and easy that's one thing that i've really enjoyed about life skills this year and last year in 2023 is it was so easy to set up these clicks were so easy like i got i've got try 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 all these clicks then you've got your tool bag over here you know i've got try i crafted all these items myself like it's not even hard just look up the recipes online all you got to do is google it and you can go also you have the trench tier here this is like one of the best in slot besides the i think it's the cons hard or whatever but uh this is really good right here and these are also great to get from events stella spirit stone because it gives you 100 a life skill mastery that's great for turn-ins Last but not least, we have the accessories. Yes, Manos accessories right here. I'm going for a full try Manos accessory set. Uh, these two items right here, the Floramos uh, necklace and Floramos belt, you can get them for free. I think one you can get from Seasons and the other one you can get from a quest. Just look it up online, look for guides. All right, now that you understand the gear that you need for life skilling, Let's start with our first major life skilling area, which is going to be, you know, the basis of alchemy, right? This is a really important spot for alchemy. We're going to be going down to bear over here and we're going to be doing the herb rotation. Now, if you're a veteran life skiller, I'm sure you already know about this rotation. This rotation is amazing. It's great for just alchemy in general. You're gonna be able to craft a lot of pure powder reagent, clear liquid reagents, and those are gonna be the basis for your alchemy recipe. The main thing from this spot though is gonna be your fruits. You are gonna to get tons of fruits. You can make a lot of the oils. You got like oil of storms, oil of fortitude. All these are big bank recipes, you know, six, seven, eight hundred mil an hour easily. So before you start gathering, make sure you go over here and pick up your daily quest here from um, Liana. And another huge improvement on BDO's behalf this year is the Magnus. I am so impressed with the Magnus right now. It's one of the best features that they've given us in terms of quality of life. It's just completely insane, especially with the new system that they have. I mean, travel in BDO is so much better, which makes life skills so much better because you don't have to waste all that time trying to ride all over the world and, you know, spend 15 minutes, well, spending five or 10 minutes riding back and forth to a spot. Bam, we're in Calpheon. 
How lovely is that? How lovely is that? Okay, one thing I forgot to talk about real quick with gear is your pets too. So your pets are really important. You want to make sure that you're getting a lot of life skill experience, some durability, reduction, resistance. Try to get as much like fishing, cooking, gathering, all these life skill experiences. And also, if you want to pay to win a little bit, make sure you grab the hedgehog pet. This is going to give you a gathering quantity increase. If we pull it up here on BDO Lytics, awesome site. If you're gonna life skill, you must use this site. So our crafting profit for 5,000 is gonna be 100 mil right here, right? That's just from the pure powder reagents. I always use the mysterious catalyst for my contribution since I'm not at 425 yet. And all these items were all gathered, so they're all zero 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 zero. Money's just stacking. Now let's get to the racks. This is the big money recipe. I made so much silver making this item. And this is what it is right here. Metal solvent. The market for this stuff is crazy and I really don't see it stopping because you have the T10 horses and everybody's rolling for them. Everybody wants a T10 horse. So you use this to craft the pure platinum crystal, the pure copper crystal, and the pure tin crystal for the second recipe, um, which is a great recipe. If you haven't seen that video that I made, make sure you go check it out. Save billions on your T10 horse. All right, so the biggest bottleneck item on this recipe is gonna be your trace of savagery. Make sure that you have the trace of savagery node set up. I think it's Lynch Farm Ruins. This is gonna give you a little bit but personally, that's funny. I just got a pre-order filled. I keep it on pre-order all the time. I collect that. And you know, this is the thing about life skilling. It can be kind of tedious and you do have to collect a lot of the items. As you can see, this is a really popular item here because you use it for truffles, uh, elixir of detection, use it for um, tyrant's blood. You're going to use it for um, metal solvent personally i feel like metal solvent is the most profitable so we have our full energy now what we're going to do we're going to pop over here to the well and then we're going to head over to the um, media territory hey if you're learning anything from the video so far make sure you drop down there hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that comment section let me know about your bdo journey what's been popping off yeah media we're gonna pop over to media real quick now i suggest either using a camel or a uh dine all right we're queued up right here in the desert now this is just directly on the east side of sangrain bazaar where you go out into the desert I don't use a compass, I've just remembered where to go. You just wanna shoot straight out here. Go around to that side and then you're gonna see this little hill right here. I want you to go up the hill. And then just follow it straight out to where those rocks are. Really easy, really quick if you have a dime. I usually just post up right here. <clears throat> We're going to be running the same gathering buffs. Vidir Draft. We're going to be running a uh, Perfume of Swiftness. Book of Florin. And then the mercenaries experience. We turn our aggress on. Gathering clothes. Gathering stones. Gathering tools. Rents tier active. This is a really chill spot, right?
Yeah, I mean, that's literally it. Just climb on top of this pile of rocks. Bam R, homie. Um, we're missing our tent buff. We got our tent buff back on. Uh, make sure your pets are good. And you want to have, like, one that's resistant to desert illnesses. That really helps. And then you also want to make sure that you have some purified water on you or some star and IST if it's nighttime. I just put it on my hot bar. That way I can click six anytime I get sick from the desert. A little debuff's going to pop up right there. You want to make sure that you don't have that debuff on you at all times because it will mess up your mini game if you get ticked with damage. Now overall, the silver's not crazy for this spot, but crafting the metal solvent is so worth it. All right, great. Here's the debuff right here. Then you just click purified water. Bam, it's gone. Make sure you keep an eye on that because you really don't want it to screw up your mini games because the mini games are really what makes the uh, gathering cracked in 2024. Now, metal solvent is going to be 2,000. Trace of savagery, that is the bottleneck item. 1,000. Clear liquid reagent. Over there, there we go. 3,000 melted iron shard. And 4,000 rough stone. So, personally, I keep two alchemy tools in my house here one is going to be just to produce like clear liquid reagent and pure powder reagent the other one is going to be able to produce everything else like your um, metal solvents you know your leather glaze your different types of bloods and your oils all right so we pulled up over here we want to make sure we pop on our alchemy clothes pop on our alchemy light stones here because we need that guru alchemy go we already got processing guru uh, cooking guru we're almost at alchemy guru and then the next big one is going to be guru gathering all right there we go whip away see what our mastery is at right now we're at 1223 not too bad not too bad all right i'm gonna go hang out and watch an episode of hunter x hunter re-watching the anime it's been so awesome again all right all right all right that's another recipe in the books metal solvent 1629 30 minutes well 35 minutes of gathering 20 minutes of crafting so about one hour if you were to craft them for an hour it would be completely insane but going and gathering and then um crafting the recipe doing the alchemy is going to give you a lot of silver. You know, that's 600 mil an hour. So as you continually gather at Pilgrim's Haven, you're going to just kind of stack up these platinum ores. I've got 6,000 right now. So with around 6,000 platinum ore, you can make 657 uh, million silver more in 15 minutes, right? That's about the amount of time that it'll take to process it. And then you're taking 250 of your metal solvents and you're turning it into another 657 million that you would throw on your crafting clothes, throw on your, your Manos processing stone, and then make sure you have your processing artifacts, processing success rate, and processing mastery. Then all you're gonna need to do is grab process heating, um, throw these in here, mass process, and we'll wait for a minute and we'll be right back. Metal solvent that we just crafted, Throw that in there together, mass process that. And the awesome thing about making these is they're always on pre-order. You can always keep these and use them for your T10 rolls. So as you can see right there, there's 1.4 bill right there. After taxes, 1.2 bill. So that's 1.2 bill in the bag. 
Um, we have some mithril ore here. We're going to melt this down and we're going to melt down the rough opal. So like I was saying earlier in the video, it's all additive. You know, the higher you scale, the more silver you can make. But at the same time, the higher silver you're making, the more you need for your enhancement. So, it's the truth about BDO. Oh. They're at 1.93 right now. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's 1.8 bill. Jeez, bro. I just made 1.2. Now here's 1.8. You know, this method is cracked. That's what? 4 billion? Now as you can see, I keep all this stuff on pre-order. The rough opal, the mithril, and the uh, platinum ore. Let's bust down these mithrils, and I'll be right back. We got 1,600 mithril ingot. So let's pop these out. See how much silver we're going to make right here. This, this method is crazy. I mean, of course, you can't do this every day, but this is something that you build up over time, and then you cash in on it on the weekend while you're chilling and make tons of silver. Yeah, it takes time to get the resources, but the silver is amazing. Look at that. That's cracked. That's cracked. 2.2 billion more silver. So that puts us at what? 6 billion silver right there? <laughs> oh my goodness, yo. And then you know what's crazy about it too? Look, look, we still have metal solvents. 296 million on top of that. So that takes care of all the taxes on air, all that 6 billion. So a lot of what I've showed you today all ties into T10 horses. The materials that you can craft for T10 horses are completely insane for life skilling. It's such a great way to make silver. If you haven't got your T10 horse yet, then you can use these materials and use these methods to save money on your mythical sensors. These items are not that hard to get. Yes, you have to take the time away from grinding, but sometimes you need a break from grinding. Sometimes it's good to take a step back, do some life skills, make tons of silver. You know, it's easy silver. And I mean, you can go and gather and make five six hundred mil an hour but yeah all that ties into horse training so this is definitely you know one of the best afk life skills when it works properly and there's not a fishing if there's a fishing event i'm definitely fishing afk if there's not then i'm training afk but the best time to do this is during an event period so like right now there's an event you get double the flower of oblivion for turning in your horses in imperial trade so right now is a great time to stack this up as you can see i've been stacking mine like crazy i got 1700 that's enough for 17 mythical sensors but what's crazy is i got nine sitting right here because i one tapped my uh my t10 doom so definitely one of the top life skills in 2024 is going to be AFK horse training number one and then for number two is going to be AFK fishing processing is up there like I just showed you processing you can make tons of silver but it's only semi AFK because you have a weight limit because you have to pop back in and check it you know you could take an hour off and on or 30 minutes off and on with training and fishing you can set it up all night and just let it roll so I'm going to let my energy build up. going to go over here, feed my kids, make sure they're taken care of. You know, I got to do that. And then I'll be back with my final um, recipe on this video. If you like the video and you want to see a part two, then make sure you hit that like button. Hit that sub button. If I get 100 likes, I'll make a part two. Either way, thank you for your support. And we'll be right back with the final recipe that you can make racks on racks on racks on. Okay, so we have enough energy to finish the final recipe of the day and that's gonna be Supreme Soft Hide. This is another great recipe that's gonna allow you to mix up gathering, alchemy, and processing to make tons of silver. As you can see already, the Moonlit Opal, all those sold. So we got 1.5 billion silver from that. Bam, Supreme Soft Hide. 
going to be 1.4 million per sale as you can see uh, there's already 2 million total trades on this item so let's drop my horses off real quick and then we'll get on the grind here all right so here's our recipe right here and the only big bottleneck here is going to be your trace of ascension it's going to be 1.1 billion silver to get that this right here is going to take an hour and seven minutes to complete which doesn't include your gathering so your gathering is around 30 minutes then you got about an hour and seven minutes to do the alchemy and processing what you're going to be making here is the leather glaze if you buy the leather glaze you're just ruining all your profit so what you want to do is you want to go out and you want to collect the maple sap you want to pre-order the trace of ascension or just simply purchase it off the marketplace and then you should have you know plenty of clear liquid reagent from doing your bear gathering session and then the fine soft hide you just buy this off the market right you only need three thousand but yeah the gathering area is just going to be right here to the west of orc camp just right here on this road really nice because it's super close to Heidel. I actually don't have enough for a full batch. I'm not going to be able to actually show you guys just exactly how much you're going to be able to make. But I will tell you that this recipe is amazing. But of course, with any life skill, you always have that bottleneck item. So the main thing to mastering life skills is understanding what items you need that are going to bottleneck you. And then, you know, putting those items in your favorites and just keeping them on pre-order. The only bad thing about these traces is you can only pre-order 100 at a time. So sometimes you'll get lucky with the traces of Ascension and there'll just be a lot of them in stock. And then I would say just buy, buy them and buy them and buy them. So this is going to be the little gathering rotation here. I usually just set my horse right about here. Go ahead and get your tent popped off. Let's get a villa scroll popping. Let's repair everything up here. So I would use Agris on this spot if you've got it. All right, let's get it cracking. Start right about here, and then we're just gonna fluid collect on these maple sap here. Straight off the jump, we just hit a mini game and got 220 sap. Plus, you can get the uh, Afu uh, Grave Robber on the sap collection. So that's like. 1300 1400 sap right there if you hit him so sap collecting is really really good right now you can make around 500 mil an hour just collecting sap and not even you know crafting anything else which is really really nice seeing that you know life skilling is just really simple chill and easy and see that's something else that's dope look grace of ascension right there you actually get it from the gathering spots to where you need it I really personally think they should buff the trace drop rate just a little bit to give us more traces so that way there's not such a disparity in between the amount of traces that you get and the amount of sap that you get because really if you have all this sap and you don't have enough traces what's the point of the sap but yeah it's a really easy gathering spot just park right here and then go up and down the road right here right we're gonna finish this gathering session up and then we're gonna um, make some leather glaze so I finished off that gathering session with around 10,000 maple sap in a little bit over 30 minutes some nice drops you know we averaged around 528 million silver per hour and overall it was really successful I got three afus that's one great thing about the sap gathering now with the afu you can get a ton of sap is so easy and so chill like you could literally just pop a video on and just hang out so let's run some leather glaze real quick quick pro tip always look for your bonus quests you're gonna get a lot of bonus quests on life skilling personally i would turn in all of your all of your excess items like mysterious catalysts and fairy's breath for contribution until you hit 425 you know you need to push to 425 because that's going to really bump your imperial trade delivery every day and you're just going to be getting tons of silver like that oh, i need repair tools quick pro tip if you didn't know you can trade your dark spirits greed in from dark rift bosses 
to get supreme alchemy tools then turn them into repair kits with the wandering alchemist it's time to craft but we got to make sure we got our gear on we need leather glaze we've got 1359 to craft another quick pro tip you can go over here to Bediolytics and you can put in the amount that you're going to craft right here make sure you have your um, alchemy time set in the settings here and then it'll actually tell you how long this is going to take so this will take me around 27 minutes to finish crafting profits crafting profit is 320 and 707 mil per hour so this is also a really good recipe that you can go out and craft but the main thing is just going to be your bottleneck items just like with anything bottleneck items are key to life skilling if you focus and make sure that you got all your bottleneck items on pre-order or you're getting them from different areas in the game you got your nodes set up then you can really make a ton of silver okay i will be back in around 27 minutes all right our leather glaze is finished we got 2231 2231 got a couple other nice little drops here and we got some materials left over <clears throat> now all we have to do drop all that in there um and then we're just gonna process taking taking soft hide we're gonna take our fine soft hide and our leather glaze and then we're just gonna mass process that yet again this is something that i think pa needs to fix you shouldn't have to sit here and switch through all of our clothing all the time just give us a bag for all the clothes let us put it on and it all works simultaneously i mean come on now same with this if you have it in your artifact inventory you should get the effect you're gonna have to sit here and equip and all that nonsense if you agree with me like the video <laughs> yet again more nonsense this this should not be happening right now all right, process, their gaze, mass process. Now, this has been a whole day of life skilling. And when I say a whole day, I mean a whole day. And before the trolls start hating on the title and everybody's like, oh, you made it look like it's easy. Like, yes, it does take time. But can you make a lot of silver life skilling and stockpiling materials and then taking a day and making eight to 10 billion silver in that day. Yes, it's very possible. And it's fun content. I enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's see exactly how much we're making on this right here. Okay, wow, that was actually super quick. Um, let me see if I got some more left in here. Yeah, we actually do one more mass process here. But just from that first mass process, we got 651 yeah I mean the majority of this money is gonna be from your pre-orders as you can see these are my pre-orders these are my favorites you know this is also something else I like to do make the origin stones process them so I usually keep those on pre-order damn 903 supreme soft hide easy peasy I still have a lot of maple sap left over just got to get those trace of ascension on pre-order so there's another 1.3 billion so with all the recipes we finished that was a total of around 6.5 billion silver of course this was not all profit but it is nice right right if you learned something from the video today make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button for more informative black desert online content i've officially decided to make this channel strictly black desert online content if you're interested in any of my other content please check the link in my channel description i have an anime channel and i have a pal world channel but if you're looking for some more video content make sure you check out one of these other videos right here because you know they're gonna be lit. <laughs>